Number 66 coming in from the stern. Here's number 66. Coming slowly in. This is the one with the astronauts on board. Helicopter number 66 with astronauts Foreman, Lovell, and Anders. Captain Pyfield, the commanding officer, stands out on the flight deck alongside a microphone. Perhaps the astronauts will say a few words. Now there at last comes the red carpet at the very last moment. Red carpet being unrolled from the steps at the uh, in front of the door to the helicopter, coming back here to the uh, microphone where Captain Pyfield was standing. Now, out to the door of the helicopter go John Stonecipher and Ben James. Mr. Stonecipher is the chief of the NASA recovery team on board. He slips briefly, shaking hands with one of the astronauts. Here comes astronaut Foreman and Lovell and Anders standing on the steps. And a great cheer goes up from the sailors out here on the flight deck. All of them looking in very good condition, needing a shave, of course. Shaking hands with Ben James. There's Captain Lowell shaking hands with Ben James. Walking slowly down the red carpet, accompanied by John Stonecipher and Ben James, the three astronauts. Lowell uh, having a very noticeable beard. Frank Borman looks as if he is shaved. All three salute. Captain Pyfield is at the microphone. On behalf of the entire Yorktown crew, a most hearty welcome aboard, and congratulations on a tremendously successful flight. Colonel Borman, would you care to say a few words to the crew? Yes, sir, thank you. Well, we're just very happy to be here, and we appreciate all your efforts, and I know you had to stay out here over Christmas, and that made it tough. I'm uh, Jim and I always seem to fly in December. We made it home before Christmas in 65, but we, we can't tell you much how, as, how much we really appreciate you being here and how proud it is for us to participate in this event because thousands of people made this possible, and I guess we're all just part of the group. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Captain Fifield presents your town caps to Colonel Borman, Captain Lovell, and Major Anders. Captain Pyfield shaking hands with Colonel Borman. 
Colonel Borman looks as if he's uh, grabbed a quick shave on the way back. At least uh, there's no indication that uh, he needs a shave in the sense that uh, Lovell and Anders do. Walking slowly down the flight deck now, all of them wearing their Yorktown caps. Go ahead. With the uh, scrambled eggs on the on the uh, front uh, scrambled eggs, you know, indicating their rank. Colonel Borman of the Air Force. Captain uh, Captain Lovell of the Navy, and uh, in the middle, Major Anders of the Air Force, walking slowly down the flight deck of the aircraft carrier Yorktown, with Captain Fifield on the left of Captain Lovell. Behind them, Bed James, and over to the right, uh, John Stonecipher, the senior NASA public affairs, uh, senior NASA official on board. Over they go to the uh, flight deck, to the uh, number three elevator. This very small party, followed by a very large group of sailors, standing on the uh, number three elevator, waiting for uh, just the last moment or two uh, before they uh, are taken down to sick bay to commence their physical examination. But we already know the uh, verdict of that examination, the astronauts are obviously in the very best of condition. There goes the warning klaxon. And down goes elevator number three with astronauts Borman, Lovell, and Anders back from space and safe now aboard the aircraft carrier Yorktown. And down there on the hangar deck is Ron Nesson. The elevator has just reached the hangar deck level, and the three astronauts are walking through the uh, roped-off area wearing their uh, white coverall uniforms. Borman does seem to be clean-shaven. Uh, cameramen and photographers uh, following them, the Ben James of the space agency with them, other space officials. A salute from the Marine guards. They are now going uh, through a uh, steel doorway or uh, bulkhead on the ship and uh, actually disappearing from view. They go down a very steep uh, metal stairway to the ship's hospital or sick bay and uh, through a door which is uh, going to be locked and guarded this afternoon. For the next three or four hours, they'll be in the ship's hospital receiving uh, their medical examination. Here are the uh, here are the helicopter pilots. The uh, astronauts have gone downstairs to the hospital, and uh, the helicopter uh, crew, which brought them aboard is uh, standing here on the hangar deck. And they'll be telling about uh, how the rescue went. The, there are 17 uh, space agency uh, doctors aboard down in the hospital, headed by Dr. Clarence Jernigan. First of all, uh, they'll get the astronauts out of their space overalls and take the uh, detection devices off, the ones that kept track of their heartbeat and their breathing during the space flight. The next step will be to have blood drawn from the three astronauts to see if they suffered any damage from radiation in space, any damage to their white uh, blood cells. Their heel bones and finger bones will be x-rayed to see if they lost calcium while they were weightless in space. At some point in all of this medical examination, uh, the astronauts are uh, probably going to be interrupted to uh, step outside the sick bay again to take a phone call from President Johnson, which has become a kind of tradition uh, on these space flights. Then it's uh, back to the examinations again. And uh, they'll go into the uh, to the largest room in the sick bay. The sick bay actually is a quiet 
uh, cool, uh, rather private place on the ship. Not very many patients down there now. There was one man who had uh, a broken jaw, fell off the flight deck. Another man who had a bruised kidney from a fist fight on board a couple of nights ago. But they're not down there now, so the uh, three astronauts will have a lot of privacy in the hospital. The uh, medical tests will continue. There were actually no uh, major uh, medical experiments on this flight. They weren't trying out anything new. They just uh, want to see how the astronauts came through this flight, and they expect that they came through it as well as the astronauts have on other flights.